We are going to have our doxology, the Lord's Prayer. Most honored principal, Mrs. Janet D. Cagiente, I have the honor to present to you 928 graduating class for this school year 1998-1999 of Daniel R. Aguinaldo High School. By virtue of the power vested in me as principal three of Daniel R. Aguinaldo High School and through the recommendation of your advisors and the curriculum head that you have satisfactorily completed the requirements for graduation as prescribed by the Department of Education, Culture and Sports under the new secondary education curriculum. I now proclaim you graduates of the school year 1998-1999 and that your diploma be released. Congratulations. Congratulations. Please be seated. I'm sorry. Please be seated. We would like to acknowledge the arrival of our guest of honor, the Honorable Luz Diminda C. Ilagan. Luciviminda Ilagan, Councillor of Davao City, Dr. Susana Cabajo, Director, Davao City School Superintendent Junisho Abito, beloved parents, our principal, Mrs. Jeanette Cagente, dear teachers, friends, ladies and gentlemen, the lifetime. I am sure many of you here have had your time of joy when you graduated from high school. Today, it is our turn to savor the once-in-a-lifetime experience. Please take your seats. Barangay officials who are present this afternoon, parents, faculty members, Guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. But most of all, at the outset, let me greet a pleasant afternoon and a warm congratulations to the graduates of this educational institution. At the outset, let me thank you for making me part of this very significant occasion. Our lives are marked by milestones, and graduation from high school is one of these unforgettable milestones that signify the end of a human activity and marks the beginning of another. High school graduation is those future citizens of our country. Again and again, you are told that society is pinning its hopes on your becoming the next generation who will one day lead as the proverbial hope of our motherland. Development is presumed to rest on your... ...of seeing the passing away of the first millennium and becoming... 
becoming part of the second. The challenges are enormous, and the days ahead are filled with uncertainty. With this in mind, allow me to hurl the life of our country. Second, we must reach out to others. This reaching out is usually articulated in many ways. Lindo, fourth year curriculum head, science, Remia de Bermejo, science department head, science, Janet de Cachente, principal three. Cases <laughs> Incorporated, Medal of Excellence for Valedictorian, J.S. Garizano, Journalist of the Year, Ms. Jane Sergonia, and Mrs. Gwendolyn S. Gilwane. The Kadayawa JCs and Philippine JCs Incorporated, in cooperation with the Department of Education, Culture, and Sports, and the representative of our Malawang Director, present this Youth Leadership Excellence Award to Michelle Melanie Yes in recognition of outstanding academic and extracurricular leadership, thereby serving as an example of excellence as a youth achiever in the school and in the community given his 26th day of March, 1999. <laughs> Preacher of the Year, and the company's commitment in honor <laughs>
to our distinguished guest, Honorable Lucy Lazan, our principal, Mrs. Chanel D. Cajente, our mentors, advisors, our beloved parents, fellow students, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I thank all of you who saw this commission. Actually, I really don't know what to say, but with the help of several people close to me, I am able to come up with this speech. First of all, I would like to thank our Lord Jesus for everything. He has showered me with manifold blessings, and without Him, I will not be where I am right now. To you, Lord, thank you so much, and everything I offer back to you. Second, my teachers, my mentors, both in the academic and extracurricular field. Thank you so much for your patient teaching and for discovering and developing my talents and potential to the students. Thank you also for your words of wisdom. They will be our guide for our future. I would also like to thank my classmates, my peers, my friends. Thank you very much for your company, your advice, even for your criticism. I will never forget those times together. And as I have always said, we may depart, but we always have a special place in my heart. And finally, I would like to acknowledge my family. Though my mother is the only one here to come to. I would like to thank them, my logo, my daughter, my mother, and my brother, my sister. Thank you very much for your love and your undying support. Your sacrifices were not in vain. To all of you, I dedicate my accomplishments without physical reasons. Thank you very much, my love you. Now, I see you very much, my love, in your labor and prayer. And to all the people who have had me, one way or another, thank you very much. The time that we have long been waiting for has indeed come. After long months of study and struggle, we are now reaping the fruits of our labor. We will now graduate and receive our diploma. Our years in secondary school will soon be over, and we are content to say, at last, I've finished the race. But the race is not yet through. In fact, it has just begun. We still have a long way to go to make it to the finish. We still have to pursue college and learn a living. Young as we are, we have seen in our lives dark clouds. The day when it is makes every yesterday a dream of happiness and tomorrow a wish of hope. Thank you and good afternoon.
for the whole sum of the amen of its gold. We promise to be of service for our alumni association and for our alma mater. For us, be good. Again, here, for the first time that we can be here again, our many old of the Philippines for seven years, national level, thereby bringing the school in upon the students the virtues of loyalty and living with one. Presented this 26th day of March 1995 at the House of Institutions. Signed, Roberto M. Carrusa, Deputy President. Signed, Janet Liga, Gentry, Prince Papri. Signed, Jennifer D. Alito, Superintendent. Signed, Susana Liga, Bajo. Chairman uh, Nonier, and they have all vote for passing the DOSC qualifying examination.